It's footage like this from the Christchurch earthquakes which Kiwis fear the repetition of following news of a 6.5 magnitude quake which hit central New Zealand yesterday. However, a senior lecturer in geophysics at Otago University says it's too early to tell what the new earthquake pattern will be or if it will strike again. A lot of people have been a little bit uh, worried because, uh, I think particularly because of the uh, Christchurch earthquakes, that it could be leading to something larger. Um, but we can't say that it is or that it isn't. So, so it is a bit, um, uh, I guess, up in the air at the moment. And while Seddon is on the transition between the Australian and the Pacific plates, Christchurch is on the Pacific plate. So there's no connection between the occurrence of the two earthquakes. No, 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 no. So, so they're, they're on they would be on very different fault lines, but uh, separated by, um, I guess, 100 kilometres or more. And while Dunedin is also located on the Pacific plate, the earthquake risk here is relatively low due to very few mapped active faults occurring here over the last 1,000 years. Look, Dunedin is most definitely on the Pacific plate, and we're farther away from the plate boundary than either Christchurch or Seddon. Uh, so, so I guess in, in, in that regard, um, we're likely to have less of an, of, an, of, a, of an earthquake risk for that kind of earthquake. And while the Akator Fault is the one closest to Dunedin, which runs up the coast and comes ashore near Brighton, it's known to be active only once every 5,000 years. Debbie Narona, 39 Dunedin News.